Yo, what's good, world? It's your man is S1, aka Symbolic One. And we cruising with J Cruz Live right now on 97.9 The Beat. Y'all check it out. Yo, it's the Holler Back Kid, J Cruz, your neighborhood hero, aka, you know the one and only, turned up 24 7. Got the homie S1, Symbolic One, holding yeah. it down. Yes, yes. What's good, bro? What's up, man? Look, real quick, look at that camera. Tell everybody who you are and what you've accomplished, because you've accomplished some really big things, bro. Uh, man, I go by S1, a.k.a. Symbolic One. Some of my works include Kanye West Power, uh, Beyonce's Best Thing I Never Had, uh, Watch the Drawn, I did Murder to Excellence, uh, the new Eminem album I did, Bad Guy, just to name a few. Just the name of you? It's like a you just name like the biggest artist in the industry, cuz. Man, it's been a blessing, bro. Beyonce, J, Kanye, Exhibit, Pusha T, Talib, The Game, Stolly. You just produced Bad Guy with the dividends. Yeah. You seeing that <laughs> paper, huh? <laughs> Ladies. It's, it's been a blessing, man. It's been a blessing. The man to know right here. <laughs> we need to start hanging out. Let's go to DJ's tonight. Uh, so, real quick, give me a. When was the first time you pro you produced? Now, when you pro you say you you worked on these projects, mm -hmm. just you, you other producers collectively. How does that work? Uh, I know sometimes uh, it's like. Two, three producers on yeah, one song. Yeah, yeah, Somebody yeah. might add something or... Yeah, each, each song has been different, man. Like, some of them have been co-productions. Say, for instance, uh, The Power Joint, I co-produced it with Kanye. Together. And, uh, together. Like, in uh -huh. the studio. Yeah, in like the studio. Like, next him. to him. Yeah, yeah. It was so it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Film, keep going. Yeah, and then, like, um, joints like, uh, for instance, The 50 Cent, the... Um, my life featuring Adam Levine and Eminem right. okay. when I produced, I did okay. that, you know, pretty much by myself. So, so it just varies. It, it, it just depends, depends on the situation. situation. Yeah. Which one are you the most proud of? Because that's a that's oh, a hell of a list right there. Um, man, I would I would definitely say the Power Joint, the Kanye that Power one. Joint, because it was kind of like my introduction into into that world. Right. Like that was my first major placement and my first that's major crazy. single. So, um, so it introduced me to that world and, and kind of put my plan in my. Oh, feet. let's put this out there. You are from here. I am from here. Yeah. Let, I, am, from? I am from here. I'm from Texas. I'm actually from Waco, Texas, but I've been living in Dallas for about 15, 16 years now. So this is home as well. Where are you originally from? Waco. Oh, you are yeah. originally, originally from Waco, from Waco Texas. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. I got you. Pay attention, Cruz. Um, so. How did that happen the first the, the first time? Did, um, like, it you, was, it was because you know a lot of producers have talent. They mm -hmm. just don't know how to get it to somebody that can make that happen. Yeah, and that's them. that's exactly right. Like uh, you know, my years of producing, uh, it came to a point where I was like, man, I, I really believe that I had a talent and a gift. Dude, but it was like um, I would always say is, man, if people could just hear it. So once I right, posed right, that it, question right. to me, it's like, okay, what's the answer to that? Get in positions. For people, people to hear, to hear it. it. So, um, you know, I started doing, like, beat competitions, showcases all over the U.S. So you did travel. I did you travel, left, yeah, yeah. Which is the number one advice I give artists, exactly. producers. You have to like, get out. You, you gotta have get to get out, out from gotta, your own, yeah. People say, hi, Cruz, how do I get heard? Get out. Turn up 10,000 copies and yeah, go. Exactly right. Live on a road exactly for a while. Right. So I did that, man, and I started to build relationships, and I started to work with, um, you know, grassroots. I started to work with independent artists, you know. You know uh, Ghostface, so Little Brother, oh, okay, okay. you know, people like that. And those situations turned into more opportunities. Uh, when I started working with Little Brother, my man's Fonte from Little Brother, they, he introduced me. He fucks me. with Kanye, right? They fuck, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. Gonna say, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he introduced me to Ron Fest, who is Kanye's exactly, right-hand right man. At right -hand time, man. Uh, you know, so I started working on Ron Fest's album, and it was a situation where what was crazy is, uh, uh, just to you know keep it short, it was a situation where... Uh, Ron Fest wanted to buy four tracks from me, but he only had the budget for two. So I had to come to a decision. Okay, do I just tell him to pay for these two and you know give like, him the other two for free? Or I, that's say exactly no, what I. That's exactly, exactly, exactly. What you did. that's exactly what I did. I gave him the other two, and somewhere down the line, he remembered that he was in the studio with Kanye, and he was like, "Yo, S, you know, I'm in the studio with Kanye. Send me some joints over. If I get the opportunity, I'll play them." And two that's weeks crazy. later, I get a text from him that just said. Kanye is loving your stuff. He says he's about to change your life. The next day, the next day I'm on a flight to Hawaii to work with Kanye. <laughs> the next day. The next day. Flew you out. Yeah, flew me out and been working ever since. Did you have to bring any equipment with you or you just went by yourself kind of? I, I just took my laptop and my hard drive and Are you a it. musician? Do you play instruments? Uh, I'm not like a 
solid musician, yeah, yeah, but I'm just, a musician at heart. And yeah, well, you I know how to. Yeah, yeah, you don't have I, to I know do how to play a piano. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know how to. The end result, I know how to get oh, what, what I want. Is, yeah. What it is. How much your beats run? Man, it varies, man. Because I still not. I, I produce on a major level with these major artists, but I still work with independent say, cats so too. It, so there's, there's kind of like a range. depends on who you're working. Who you're work, who I'm working with. Like yeah. In the relationship of the person, right? Because well, if, yeah. if I asked you for a beat for a certain project, you better not try to tax me. No, I would. Kanye I would. West yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that would. You know. So, uh, so yeah, I work, I work on all levels, man. I still try to, you know, because because I've over the years I've built up so much catalog. You know, I'm not, I'm, I'm definitely not selfish. So how does the, how does the residual work? You get paid, and, and you might not be able to answer some of these mm -hmm. questions, but I'm just going to throw them out there. Um, when you get paid one time for the beat, mm -hmm. is that it? You don't no, ever man, see it's, it's so many different ways you can get paid. Like uh, for instance, once I sell a beat, you get an advance for that. Right. After that event, you own, you know, if if you wrote, if you produced or wrote on the song, you like own the shares of that song. Okay, yeah. Right, right. So say, for instance, if you own 50% of that song, then whenever the the song is used for movies or anything. radio, anything, you you're going to get your 50% your shares. Your 50 shares so those checks keep coming in the mail. Yeah, huh, that's, that's, the, that's, the, <laughs> that's the goal. Right, wait, wait, I'm asking <laughs> another question. Goal. What's the fattest check you've seen, that's what? Come on, go out there, my nigga, I need to know. Man, I don't like. I don't all like. Right, yeah, right, I don't I like. You. No, I got you. I got you. You know me. You know me. All right. Yeah. So, uh, did you get a chance? To, <laughs> is, is Kanye the only person you got to meet, or did you get to meet other? Dogs yeah, like games? like what's crazy is like the biggest joints I've done. For instance, like the Kanye, the Beyonce, and the Washer Throne. I was in the studio with all. You of met them. Jay and Beyonce. Yeah, I flew out to Australia and London with Jay and Kanye to work on that album. I've been to radio <laughs> like eight, ten years. I've never met Jay, Beyonce, or Kanye. Yeah, and then and then with Beyonce it was the same. I met her working on Watch the Throne because she was out there okay, with, yeah. with me and Jay. I was able to build a relationship with her, and um, you know she flew me out to New York to that's work with her. Incredible, that's one. So I'm so it's, happy we, it's, we got on your story and put it out. There. Man, I appreciate that's that, man. I appreciate that. It's it it's 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 really a um, it's just been a blessing, man. Just being able to connect with people and. Really, just how God has put me in the right places at the right time. Because yeah, that's really I mean, all. You're from been. Waco. You're from here. I'm from a it's, small it, it, city. It yeah. just shows, like I can't. I'm from Pittsburgh, and I, I saw Wiz come up. Oh. Wiz Khalifa. I saw Mac Miller come up, and see. I see them now. Yeah. And, you know, I, I mean, I'm do I do my thing. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm you know people. I know tons of people out there would love to be who live my life or what mm -hmm. I do for a living. But when I see them, it just it strikes me like you know it really gets you when it's when it's somebody that when you grew up with. Yeah, yes, it's like close. oh yeah. my, you like it's like crazy. Yeah. It's almost you can't grasp yeah. it. So to sit here with you and just you but, know what but I mean? it, I, like I said, I've been in radio eight years. <laughs> I never met them. You met all three of them in yeah, the studio. It, it's it's been crazy, man. It's been it's been a. Uh, it's been a great journey, man. You know, the, were they all real the, cool? Everybody oh was, man, that's they, they all family. Yeah, they, literally, they all family. They the coolest individuals you ever. So what's make. that symbolic? What are you working on right now? Man? Uh, I need I'm you, working on. I need a you lot, to tell me man. something you're not allowed to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all this out of oh, I need to know man, something you're not allowed. to I don't tell know me. what I'm not allowed to all say, right, but uh, right. uh, I've next? been working on a lot, man. I've been working with uh, Kendrick Lamar on his on his follow-up album, which I'm very excited about. And listen, that first album, classic. Classic, like, yeah. Un undeniable yeah, classic. So the second oh. one, I need you to make sure it's a classic. Oh, yeah. All right? oh, yeah. Make sure yeah. you give him the, the top so, uh, shit. Yeah, I've been working with, uh, like I say, Kendrick. Um, I just talked to Kanye at the show the other night when he came through town, and we're about to get started on the next, on his next joint, which I have a feeling board. is going to be crazy because, like, he went... He went left yeah, on this went, album, but I, 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 I really listen. believe like this album is gonna be. He's incredible. eccentric. Uh, I, I'm not gonna sit here and judge the man because I, I, I don't. I don't. I've learned that you don't judge artists for who they are as people because mm -hmm. they're people, but mm -hmm. you can judge their music. Mm -hmm. And as far as the album, it had so many strong messages. Yeah. But was it hip hop? I don't know what the I don't know what the yeah to it, me was, it, it was it was it was something might be wrong but I, to me it just it, I think it had hip hop elements but not but overall. it wasn't and, exactly and I like the whole fact that Kanye tries to break out of that black people mold black people mm -hmm. can only do this or black people he's you know, he's trying yeah. to expand his horizons exactly. and do more but at the same time you know I just felt like it left it didn't kind connect, of hip hop to it the side it didn't a little bit. with a lot of the hip hop yeah, yeah so, you were but so, it was a good so that's that's the reason why I say I I really feel like this one is gonna connect yeah. Very strong. Yeah. Shit! <laughs>
<laughs> so you already got some beats in yeah, mind? Yeah, I, I, I already got some Ready stuff. Go. He has to already got some stuff on, on hold. So I'm really excited oh, okay, about so the, yeah, the joints that he got that I'm really excited about. Damn, so. I can't wait. Me and you going to have to talk, so. man. You know I'm trying to get my DJ Khaled shit put out a couple singles, bro. We gotta oh, talk. yeah? Yeah, we got to talk. Hey, let's, let's make it happen, we, man. We need that low-budget shit. Let's make it. <laughs> normal, normal DJ on-air budget. All right, so... Uh, Oh man, uh, S1, put your uh, Facebook, Twitter out there. All that so people can check you out, man. Yes, sir. And like, and like you saying, like any any rapper can contact you mm -hmm. to try to get beats, right? Like, yeah, that's are, right. Yeah, open yeah. To that. Okay, I'm open. Cool. I'm very open to that, man. Y'all can check me out on Twitter. It's just symbolic one. That's at S Y M B O L Y C O N E. That's my um, that's my Twitter. Uh, and then from there, actually, you can just log on to um, my site, which is symbolicone.com, spelled the same way. And from there, you can you can uh, you can uh, my Facebook, Twitter, and right, all that right. is info, okay. Instagram, all that is on there. So, do you have a website where people go check out your beats, or is it more? Uh, it's more basically what you could do is you can actually hit me up on Twitter. You can hit me up on Facebook, and then, and then we'll set it up that way. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. hit you up on Twitter right now. <laughs> That's one I appreciate you. Man, having I appreciate you having me, bro, man. Keep it's going. It's the man right here. Son, I told y'all we ain't posting bullshit. This is the man right here. <laughs> we got tons of hits on jcruzonair.com. Yes, we sir. about to put this interview on the btfw.com, man. S1 doing big things straight out of Waco, man. Some of the biggest artists in the city. If you got what did Jay-Z say the other day? If you got a dream, man, go after that go shit, for bro. It. Go, go for after it. that shit, bro. Go for it. You have to like don't sit on it. I was just speak I was just in a barbershop today. Speaking on that, like I, I, I was telling the, uh, my barber because he had so many ideas, and I'm like, all you have to do is just execute those ideas. Don't keep them up here. Go for it. Because yeah, if you keep them up here, it's just sitting there. Yeah, sitting yeah. You have to. Barber, and then you know, you smoke weed. Uh, uh, <laughs> some of the ideas, some stuff may work, some stuff may not yeah, work. But if you don't exercise and execute it, you'll never know. Oh man, S1, inspiring over here, man. Inspirational over here. All right, y'all, we out of here. S1, go check them out. Go follow them. Go get some beats. You probably afford some of them. Some of them you're not going to be able to afford. It's just the way it is. You feel me? Appreciate you, man. You want to say something before you get out of here? You want to say something to the yes, camera? Yes, sir. Oh, that one. That one. Just, oh, okay. All the people out there. What's good, everybody, man? Y'all check me out. SymbolicOne.com. Appreciate my man's Jay Cruz having me on the show. 97.9 The Beat. We cruising, y'all. Crazy TV.